We're in Redneck Customs here. Okay, guys. Uh, the first thing today that we're going to do is... So our car garage, awning, space, whatever you want to call it, the tarp that I was using as the roof has kind of... It hasn't collapsed. It's just kind of got a lot of slack in it. So I want to get that tight. Okay? It's going to wobble around, but it needs to be more sturdy. Now, the reason it's fell down like this, for one thing, it's cocked. Okay, this was like that. It's cocked. So I need to... If you watch the tarp now, but it's still slack, right? Okay. Well, here's the reason for that. Okay, watch my post. I want to start. See the space gap? Now, I packed this thing all the way around. But I might have missed that spot, so we're going to fix that. Now, look at it. See the wind hitting it? It's moving. But now, watch. It's not going to move. All over the fucking place. See there? It ain't gonna do that shit. So we're gonna have to reinforce that post. We're gonna pack it down some more. I might beat a piece of wood in there. And then we're gonna put another bracket on the little piece of wood on top. I mean, this shop is anchored the fuck down. I doubt it's going anywhere, but, you know, it could. Oh, my gosh. I mean, hell, we got some heavy lean on that. So I'm going to have to re... Yeah, we got some leaning happening over here pretty, pretty bad. I don't know if that's uh, on that. See that right there, there ain't nothing I can do about that. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we were gonna do some mowing, we're still going to. Um, we're gonna go ahead, take our swig of tea, get y'all propped up somewhere, you know, obviously where you can see the post. You want to say, hey, grab a shovel. Oh, wow. I know what fell. Look at that piece of rebar I had hanging up there. Some bitch. Okay. God damn it. Okay, guys. Like I said, we're just gonna push it back like that.
And we got to get all the dirt that came out of there back in there. Make sure it's packed plugged down. I'm actually going to get an extra shovel full of dirt from our handy little pile over yonder. Um, just because. You know, try to give us some extra personal ground. You know, sometimes <clears throat> you just gotta keep beating. Look at that. I'm probably gonna beat me a fucking piece of wood on that side. Right there. Fucking shit happened. I mean, I don't know what kind of company. So uh, the boat I had holding that right there and came out. I mean, Jesus Christ, can you calm down with the wind a little bit? We don't stick one right there and then another one in there. So. Like it's a hole. Like you a hole. To, just, you know, just a little hole. That's all you need. You don't need nothing else. I'm gonna come in here. I already got that and stuff. Just come in the shop. So I can grab them extra bolts I had. There's some washers. Gonna need them. Now I'm gonna take this nut and bolt washer and run them through. And I'll show you, I don't have a camera guy, so, you know. Shit. We'll see where I made that hole in here. That ain't it. There she goes right there. So... Shit. We will, uh, I 
guys, I'm gonna show you <laughs> exactly how we're running this. It's gonna be hard. I cannot hold the camera all the time uh, on this one because obviously I've got to go. I've got to. It's really a two-man job, but because I'm doing tarp to tarp. I'm taking this here wing nut off, and guys, it's a temporary thing. I'm taking this down as soon as I get the car done. But I'm gonna run this long ass bolt through a fucking carburetor bowl. Okay. Then I'm gonna run it. Where's my hole? Through my hole. The reason I'm doing that is so that way it don't rip the fucking tarp. It hurry up. I'm gonna grab a tarp and pull that motherfucker. Fucking damn washer. Fuck on there. Yeah. It's a small one. You just stick these three big ones on there and I don't give a shit. Fasten our wing nut down, you know. Let the shield go. And, uh, I got her tight right there. So let me show you guys what I just done. So guys, it's temporary. It's not supposed to Oh shit, let's build a goddamn pan roof and all kinds of shit. I just stuck me a bolt through there. Now we're gonna come over here, run us a bolt right there. It's, just, it's already there, but we're gonna refasten it down to a new hole. That's a pretty long bolt. So I might do the same damn thing I did to that and with another spare bowl I have instead of this right here that's taking up space. So let's get the uh, carburetor bowl. Now this one come off of a push motor. Obviously I'm not using either of these and I won't be. So why not? Make a fucking rig out of it. With the amount of space, it would take some pressure for that to, I mean, some massive pressure for that to rip that through the fucking tarp. I mean, these are both commercial. They're pretty old, but, you know, this one isn't commercial. But this brown and gray one is commercial roof and tarp, but it's probably 15 years old, so. Shut your guys down. At an angle, y'all can see me work. So really, I can run my hand up underneath here like this. Actually, guys, that was a hole. I didn't cut that hole in that tarp. It ripped the fucking fin out. I just got to show this tarp is not heavy duty. I don't like that, but fuck it. Give me another spacer. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, guys, take our bolt, thread it through there, well, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take, I've already got a hole there, I'm just going to 
plunge it through there like that. Let's go around to the other side. Like I said, all I got to do, I need it. We got where my hole is at, right there. So we're gonna come over and we're gonna just cut a little slit for the bolt to go through. Take our hand, reach up here. Get our nut to go through there. Well, our bolt. Hold it as best as I can with my fingers. Lead it through the tar. Hope it holds. Take our washer. Give me some slack, Joe. Problem, problem, problem. Now we got her feeding on there. We're gonna try to snug this and way down on there. Okay. Now we've got, y'all can see, four. One, two, five. Five bolts holding this side up. Hopefully it fucking works. You know, now we got this side held up. Let's go see. Is this going to do anything? Well, it did a little bit. Oh, man. It's only going to work if I pull this back some more. So now it's time to get a hammer. And some wood. Try to beat it in there in place. So we're gonna try to use this right here. That should give us plenty of extra room. So let's come in here. And find, there's our hammer right there. Very, very, very convenient. So let's come back here to our hole. Get down. I'll use the shovel. Prop you guys up. You got no. Came up a little bit. But fucking Jesus Christ, it still didn't come up enough. You know, if I could, you know, I mean, Still plenty enough for the uh, car to drive under, you know. But it's just 
me. I can't walk under it without hitting it, and you know, that probably ain't gonna change. But, she is more secure now. I am gonna fucking tighten that up. You know, that needs to be straight. And, uh, hell. You know, our board really don't seem like it's gonna go anywhere. It might. Didn't seem like it was going to go anywhere yesterday either, but it did. So I am probably going to beat one down in this side too. And, uh, you know, hope for the best, really. Um, like I said, it's getting fucking windy as hell out here. And I hope the shop holds up to it. You know. But hell, I don't know. I, this big ass tarp's catching some wind. You know what I might do? Give me a block, tie a rope around it, put a little hole with a big ass spacer that I got in there, and just anchor it down while it's windy. <sighs> you know, so it don't fucking jerk up and start ripping shit apart. You know. Like, we're not, I'm not really using it. Actually, the only thing y'all can see I've been using it for is stuck them tires under here and make them sit in my chair. Because it feels nice out here now. It's starting to get a little cooler. But it's, I mean, it's not cold right now, but it's starting to get cold out. Y'all know it. it's coming winter time, which I love winter time. To me, winter time's the time for palm fires and loud muddy trucks. You know, get out in your backyard. Oh, oh God, son, I love the winter. Oh, man, you get out there and uh, in your backyard and start tinkering on your four-wheeler, crank up the country music in your truck or your car, and light up a fire, crack open a nice 18-pack. Oh, man. Get in a truck, go down to the mud hole, Crack open an 18 pack and go to town. Well, I love the winter sun. Nothing but boots, blue jeans, camo jackets, and fucking dip. Beer. Women. Don't need no wet t shirt. Alright, guys. Um, that's going to be it for now. I'll give y'all an update. I'm going to go ahead and fix that that little piece of wood that we got extending it up a little bit i'm gonna get that straight and fastened down and then uh i'm gonna break the pole and pro out get a little bit of yard mode and uh yeah that's that's gonna be it um might go ahead and pull the motor off the fucking snapper, you know, just so it ain't on there no more. Stick it right here, you know, we don't need it no more. Uh, hell, might actually do something a little different, guys. Might go ahead and get the goddamn four-wheeler out. I don't know. We'll figure out what y'all do here in a little bit. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Y'all take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay warm.